Hello, my name's Amy and welcome to another writing vlog. This was actually supposed to be a weekly writing vlog, but it's now Thursday afternoon, so I'm not doing too well there. We recently got back from a 10 day trip to Cornwall. Well, I say recently, it's actually been about a week, but it honestly feels like we've only been back a few days. We were in Cornwall to visit family who live down there and whom we haven't seen since before the pandemic, so it was really great to catch up with them. But it's very easy to forget how exhausting going on holiday is. I don't know how anyone goes on holiday to relax because I always come back more tired than when I went. So the last week has been a bit of a readjustment. Our entire family came down with colds while we were on holiday and we're still getting over those, particularly my daughter. So this week has felt like a bit of a struggle and there hasn't really been a lot of writing time either. By the time you see this, I should have already put up the Cornwall video in which I talk about rediscovering my creativity and making some changes to my writing life which meant I got back from Cornwall all fired up to get to work. I was going to dive straight into editing some videos, I was going to reopen my blog, which is The Curl You Calls, I will link it down below and I'm sure I will be talking more about that later in the video. And I was going to get straight back into editing Echo State. I've done little bits of all of these and one blog post has now gone up, but honestly, it has been slow going. I've spent quite a lot of the week scrambling to find time for writing and when I've got time, I'm trying to find the energy for it. I don't exactly know what I'm going to be writing over the next week or so. Part of the big change I decided on while I was away was that I was going to be writing less fiction and more non-fiction, which is where the blog comes in. But the truth is I'm finding that I've just got inspiration and ideas in every direction. And so right now I feel like I'm just trying to pile too many things on top of myself. I've talked about editing Echo State in previous videos. I'm about two thirds of the way through with that, but there's still a long way to go. And until that is finished, I am juggling so many things. There's now YouTube and the blog, which I want to give more attention to, but there's also Echo State and there's drafting and there's my serial fiction for Chronicles of Terrier and there's keeping up with social media. And of course there's work and having a life. So it's a lot right now and I do kind of feel like I've taken too much on. I was trying to simplify and take some of the pressure out of writing fiction and I think I might have done that. I'm feeling much more positive about the fiction right now. But simplifying has not really gone to plan. I have still got far too many projects up in the air. So I suspect a lot of this vlog is going to be about me trying to find balance without burning out, which honestly I think is the major conundrum of my creative life. Let's see if this week I can find some answers.
Tuesday evening. Nothing about the last five days has really gone to plan. There have been various minor disasters with work. Our daughter has not been sleeping very well because of a cold, which means we haven't been sleeping well either. I actually feel like I'm starting with yet another cold. I think she picks up another one every time she goes to the childminder and then passes them on to me. But on the plus side, and I have kind of surprised myself with this given how little sleep I've had, the writing has gone really well. I ticked off nearly everything on my to-do list last week. I did a huge chunk of editing on Echo State. I got a video out, I got a blog post up. And honestly, that was pretty good going for a very, very tiring week. This week, I've maybe made my calendar a little bit full. Looking at my to-do list yesterday and today, I do feel a little bit overwhelmed. And it's been a slow start to the week. It has been hard to get any momentum. So my focus right now is very much Echo State. Because I did so well on it last week, I am feeling a bit more confident that I might be able to finish this round of edits by the end of October. That would be absolutely ideal because then I can go into NaNoWriMo without having to think about it and the book can go off to its final reader before I do the proofreading and it gets published. Wrapping up the last third or so of the book before the end of the month is still ambitious but the chapters are getting shorter and shorter towards the end of the book and I feel like I'm gaining a bit of steam. What I do notice is that the harder I work on an editing project and the more time I put into it, the more I really love the book that I'm working on. Slow editing progress feels very demoralising to me. When I make a big push and it's going really well, it allows me to remember everything that I love about the story. And it gives me a lot more hope that readers are going to love it too. So that's going to be another big focus this week. I have upped my target time for working on the book this week. I don't know if I'm going to meet it. I'd really like to get three chapters wrapped up this week and three each of the following weeks until the end of the month. That would be more editing progress than I've made at any time this year though, so it is a big ask. The funny thing is, while we were away in Cornwall, I made all these decisions about spending more time on video and on blogging and other business ideas that aren't writing. And yet I found myself coming back to writing anyway. Partly that's just because I want Echo State done and I've honestly wanted it done for the last six months. So I've kind of forced myself into this position where I still have to put a lot of emphasis on writing. But I've also kind of chosen to do NaNoWriMo as well, which I didn't need to have done, but I just can't help myself. There is so much excitement in the online writing community at this time of year and it is impossible not to get swept along with it. So there is a lot going on this week. I am really hoping this slight cold doesn't develop into anything because I've got a lot of editing to do. I've got a Chronicles of Tyria chapter to write and I've got another blog post to wrap up. But really the next few weeks are going to be all about the editing. We are now into the final push to see whether I can finish this book by the end of the month.
is Friday afternoon. My daughter went for some of her booster vaccines this morning, so it was a bit of a stressful start to the day. But she is going to be at the Childminders for the next four or so hours. And this is my only uninterrupted writing time of the week. My big goal for this afternoon is to try and do about two hours of editing on Echo State. Ideally, I would wrap up about a chapter and a half, which would get my entire quota of three weekly chapters taken care of. I'm not sure that's going to happen even in two hours though. The chapter I'm working on at the moment has been taking a really long time and there has been a lot to sort out with it. And I think the following chapter might be the same. So I don't expect progress to be very quick this afternoon, but I am still going to make the most of my time. So let's get to it. I've just come outside for a minute to take a little bit of a break between editing. So excuse the noise of sheep and cars and all that. I've spent about an hour editing so far and it's gone okay but it's pretty slow. I said I wanted to do two chapters today and I've still only done about half of one. I've got one more scene left to do the kind of line edit of before I move on to the second. This chapter, I think it's chapter 22, has just given me so much trouble. I have spent so much longer on it than any other chapter for quite a long time. So my goal of wrapping up to today is looking unlikely, I've got to be honest, because I know chapter 23 needs quite a bit of work as well. A part of me is wondering why I've given myself any deadline at all. Really the only reason I want this book done by the end of October is so I can do NaNoWriMo. And I don't have to do NaNoWriMo, that is completely self-chosen. But also I've been working on this book for so long that I felt I really needed some kind of outside deadline or it was just going to go on forever. So I'm going to see if I can manage about another hour of editing this afternoon. I want to do the line edit of the scene I'm on and then I will move on to the next chapter. For every chapter that I'm editing, I work through a series of kind of continuity and light developmental notes. Then I do a line edit of the entire chapter before I move on. So fingers crossed I can at least get into the next chapter before I have to stop for the day. It is now Saturday evening. I didn't actually update again yesterday because after I'd finished that last chapter, which was chapter 22, I pretty much crashed. I didn't touch the following chapter at all. I didn't finish my Chronicles of Tyria chapter, which I was supposed to do. I actually got into bed, read a single page and fell asleep at half nine. So in some ways it feels like I am a long way from reaching my goals for Echo State this week. I did a little bit more this morning, but I still have a lot of work to do to wrap up my third chapter for the week. And that is a little bit disappointing, but I'm also trying not to panic about it too much. At the end of the day, the worst possible outcome is that I am still editing throughout November and I don't get to take part in NaNoWriMo. That would be a shame, but it is not the end of the world. And I am thinking about ways that I could carry over the editing into November if I have to and still do NaNo in some form or another. We'll be talking about that more in my next vlog because that is where I'm going to wrap things up for today and indeed for this week. It has not been the week I expected in a lot of different ways. Work has been different, writing has been different, and I have not had very much sleep. But despite all that, I am still feeling more hopeful about this editing and echo state than I have in a long time. I can see that it is actually going to be finished and there were many months when I couldn't say that. So I'm looking forward to it being done, I'm looking forward to putting it out into the world and moving on to something else. But I'm also enjoying the editing process as I go along. And right now I am taking that as the biggest win of all. So I have got a couple of vlogs coming up. I want to do a Preptober vlog just in case I do take part in NaNoWriMo. And this is also the time of year when I love doing autumnal reading vlogs. So expect one of those. In the meantime, keep writing everyone and I'll see you next time.